Yo guys, welcome back to my channel, JB here. Today I'm gonna be giving you guys another tutorial quick tip for beginners. I'm gonna be talking about the basics and the factions this time. So the first thing you need to understand is your cabin is your life. As long as that remains intact, you're still in the fight. As soon as you can build some structural parts, cover the front and side of the cabin, even if it gets shot off later in battle, you won't start losing hit points to the cabin right away. If you're in battle, you'll see some you'll see the damage you deal with white and yellow. The white is for the structural parts you damage and the yellow is for the cabin you start to damage. If you only shoot the cabin, even if the vehicle has a bunch of structural parts left, if the cabin dies, the whole vehicle explodes. Now when it comes to dealing damage, use short controlled burst, because if your weapon is overheated, it won't fire for a couple of se seconds. There are um, parts you can build of uh, radiators, so your weapon takes a while to uh, or get overheated, or it cools down much faster. When fighting, concentrate on hamstringing your enemies. First aim for the weapons or the wheels, so they won't be able to fire or to move. And once you see the cabin, start going for the cabin to see the yellow damage. If you're in a match with some bots and some real life players, first focus on the real life players first because the bots are, usually have a, a random pattern and you can take them out relatively easy. Now when it comes to teamwork, always be nice. If you see a friendly has flipped, always try and flip him over because if he's not helping, you have a much higher chance of losing. Give other space. It's not particularly fun to miss a cannon shot because someone bumps into you. That's really annoying. It happens to me a lot. Stick together. A lone wolf is not going to get very far. If you're trying to be a flanker, that's okay. Or use a cloaking device to flank around the enemy's base. It's okay, but once you're in trouble, 2v1 is usually really, really hard to win. Unless you have some legendary parts on your build. Also, if you don't have any more weapons and you're kind of limping on one wheel or two wheels, Try and help your teammates out. If you see they're gonna fire their cannon or rockets or something, um, take some shots for the enemy, for your teammate that still has some weapons left and try and help them out. Or you can also hold the backspace button to self-destruct and deal some damage to the enemy's vehicle. There's a lot to consider when building, but the utmost concern should be two, about two things. You'll either want a vehicle that moves fast with quick weapons meant to dodge incoming fire or a heavily armored tank that sits and takes punishment. Or a battleground ground that splits the difference. Use a test drive area to find out what play style suits you. Higher power numbers don't equate to better vehicles. The higher your power number, the more elevated the players you'll be facing. Be sure to get tons of practice and if you find that you're not doing well, scale back the power level. Also, try and experiment guys. If you have two big cannons, they can be shot off really easy. Where if you had six little machine guns and place them different places around your build, it will take a lot longer to get shot off. Now let's take a look at the faction. First of all, we start with engineers, but after level 10, you can choose another faction as your secondary, which will be your main focus after that. Do not get confused or scared to make a choice. As soon as you hit level 10, go to the garage, choose a faction, you can always change it every 24 hours. The key is to level them up as fast as you can, to at least level 5, preferably level 8, and then you can go to another faction. If you want to mix, it will take a lot more time after you hit level 4 with that faction, as the experience requirements increase dramatically. Check out what you like, plan ahead which faction you prefer, and then go with that one to level them up first. You can go to the faction menu and scroll down to their building parts to see what you like. I'll go ahead and explain a bit about each faction so you kind of have an idea. You start off with the engineers. Those are the basics faction. They give you standard um, materials to build the better items. The lunatics, very fast light vehicles with great speed maneuverability but very lightly armored. If built incorrectly, you can die with even one purple shot of a cannon from the other factions. And You'll see that they have a lot of close range weapons, spears, shotguns, and a bunch of rockets that fire at you. Personally, I don't like them. As you can see, I've only leveled them up to level 4 and then I switched. Um, then you have the Nomads. These are basically the middle ground. They have decent maneuverability and decent armor. 
these guys focus on machine gun builds and th those are my favorite at the moment I built a lot of the vectors those are some good machine guns after you want to move on from the first ones you get overall they're pretty good once you get to the purple stuff then when that's when the machine the guns get really interesting and the parts they also have cooling radiators so your machine guns won't overheat as fast and some engines but I started off with scavengers I think because the scavengers are like basically the tanks or the heavy the heavy vehicles in this game they focus on like slow moving vehicles okay they don't actually focus on them it's kind of what will happen when you build with this faction they have cannons and precision weapons really long range cannons that do a lot of damage now these builds are kind of tanky mine is kind of tanky yeah i kind i like the wheels and the, the powerful engine and the trucker cap and all this was kind of my play style so that's why i picked them first but i didn't really like the cannon play style um i mean they're good but i don't like the precision weapon kind of thing so i started off with the scavengers got the things that i needed and then i switched to the nomads to basically put build a heavy build but put machine guns on top. I'll show you my build in a second. You might have already seen it in some other clips that I've made. And then you got the Steppen Wolves. You need to be at level 10 with the scavengers to unlock them. They basically also have kind of a heavy build. And these guys give you the artillery strike weapon. I've never used it before. And the like the spider wheel things. The, the spider legs yeah the spider legs <laughs> yeah so far they are really slow uh, i don't see a lot of people use them but maybe they're good i don't know i haven't gotten that far yet and the new faction is the dawn's children these guys have the hovercrafts these are kind of cool i bought the um what's it called the inventor's pack that gives you a hovercraft and other part just because um, I kind of was impatient and I wanted them really bad and as you can see I still have a lot of leveling up to do so I just bought the uh, the pack so these guys have the, the hover vehicles and some really really cool plasma weapons so this is what the Dawn's children vehicles kind of look like this one's modified I put a Gatling cannon on top and the pulse cannons uh, that it comes with are still there. The pulse cannons do a lot of damage and they're really good at taking out the, the guns on top of vehicles as well. And this is my scavenger-ish build. As you can see it has a lot of armor and stuff on it but it has machine guns on top like I said earlier. So I hope this guide kind of helped you out if you're a new player or just starting the game. When I started, this game was so confusing with me, so I just played with the uh, standard car for a long time. Let's see if I can see it. Um, yeah, <laughs> I played with this car like for the longest time because all this was confusing. I never went to the faction tab or the market, the storage. I just pressed tab to get to my storage. Uh, yeah, I never did the exhibition. I checked out some cool vehicles, and people are really creative here. Like, I don't know how to, how they build all these things. They're pretty cool. <laughs> Guy made a AK-47, a helicopter. These are pretty cool builds if you want to play around. But these guys have a lot of parts already. I'm not that far yet. So yeah, the season I haven't even done the season yet. I'm trying the easy one now, and I still need to do a lot of them to get some extra scrap. Done. I've kind of fallen in love with this game recently. I'm starting to play it a lot more, so that's why I want to cover more and explain as I learn. Myself. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more. I make a lot of different gaming videos if you're interested. So uh, yeah, check them out. I'll see you in the next video and peace out.